Hi everybody, it's Lori Ebert here, and guess what? It's Friday, which means it's the first day of our entire weekend of shenanigans. So if you just give me a couple minutes here, I want to personally invite you to the weekend of events. And so if you're sitting out there and you're still not sure you wanna come, I hope that this pretty authentic and candid video late at night, this night um, before all the events, it's actually morning. I'm talking quiet because I'm in the room that I grew up in and everybody in the house is in bed. But I'm hoping that my authentic share will convince you to come if you're not ready to come. And for those of you that are nervous to come, I hope it makes all of us less nervous. So the real truth of the matter is, even though I'm on the committee and I've been with this whole team of people planning things, I was a hell no to come to this reunion. I went to our 10 year, but I had all kinds of conversations around that and concerns and I'm not good enough and I don't need to be around these people and this person pissed me off and I wasn't elected this and I didn't get picked as cheerleader and I didn't get picked as head of the class and I was a senior. I had so much crap in my head, so I didn't come to the 20 year reunion. And when this one rolled around, I was one of those people that stalked Facebook, like the high school page. I was watching everybody, but I wasn't posting or saying anything. And then God bless Tom Laughlin, who I just love you, Tom Laughlin. You created the most amazing platform for us to have this event. And I knew that if I didn't put myself on a committee, I wouldn't have come. So that's what I did. And it was uncomfortable, and I didn't want to do it. And guess what? It was one of the best decisions I made. And that's what I want to share with you guys. I have all this discomfort to come but it has been a flipping blast so if you're not sure I really hope you'll reconsider because it has been so fun to reconnect with everybody everybody on the committee has worked really hard you know I talked to Michelle Willis Gonzalez we were best friends all through high school even grade school or you know junior high I hadn't talked to her for at least 20 years today I got to interview Lisa Lane for my radio oh my god God, she's still brilliant. Kelly Hansen, Kelly O'Connell. I talked to Kirk Houston this week. I mean, it has been so much fun. So no matter what group you were in, who was there, we want to see you. We want you to come and have fun. So I know it's stretching a comfort zone because it's stretching mine, which is something I'm doing right now. I decided that since I'm always in pictures, I'm always dressed up, everybody thinks my life looks a certain way based on Facebook. I wanted to just be real with you. So I'm in my pajamas. I'm getting ready to go to bed. I have no makeup on. This is the real Lori. This is the real deal. And the real Lori, Lori is nervous. I'm nervous. I'm like, oh my God, I'm not skinny enough. I'm not married. I don't have kids. I've got roots. It's like, what are people going to think? And I think this and I have this bad memory. And guess what? You know what? I'm going to have all that. I'm just going to give it up and I'm going to come and I'm going to see all these people all of you that I grew up with because what the real truth of the matter is is that we've all had great lives and we're amazing human beings right now and that's who I want to get to know so whatever conversation you have going on in your head I just want you to know I have it too other people have it but you know what we don't have to listen to that conversation we can actually just come and be our great selves and at the end of the day we've done really great things in life and that's what I'm interested in learning about I want to know who you are I want to know what you've done in life I want to hear about your family your husbands your wives your kids um, everything that you're up to so please consider coming if you can't come Friday night for golf because which by the way I'm gonna hit that hole in one and win that motorcycle tomorrow <laughs> I'm not a golfer, but I'm, I can hit a hole in one. And Saturday night is going to be a blast. We have a Kelly has worked so hard on a slideshow for you. We've got fun, fun things. Lisa's going to do a little comedy little thing for you. It's going to be super fun. And Tom Laughlin has gone all out for the family picnic on Sunday. Definitely got some coors for you if you drink beer. So look, you guys, it's a great weekend. So if you have had the patience to watch me in this silly video late at night in my pajamas, then I hope you're silly enough to bring yourself to this event. And if you are out of town, be radical, be unstoppable, jump on an airplane, get in the car, drive here anyway. And if you just can't be here, because a lot of people can't, we are going to post on Facebook and have some live pictures and all of that. And guess what? We'll have another reunion. And I hope that you're a part of that too. In the meantime, I really look forward to seeing you. If I don't remember you, because I don't remember a lot about high school, come up, say hi. Talk to everybody because this weekend is all about having fun, connecting, sharing who we are now in life and all that nervousness and 
the no spank zone, the gray hairs, the wrinkles, guess what? We earned them and we get to let it all go and just be great with each other this weekend. So I look forward to seeing you. See you tonight. Bye.